Hi, I would like to share something with you. It's a, a project I found online some days ago. I think it's a couple of years old. It's called Snoopy. And basically, Snoopy is a drone you put out there which sniff data from different sources and send it to a server centrally. And then you can re retrieve the data from the server from all the drones you have and work with it in a tool called Meltico. And here I have a setup of a drone, which uh, consists of a uh, Raspberry Pi, where I've installed Kaylee, and of course the Snoopy. It's not just it's not just uh, Snoopy. It's Snoopy version two or Snoopy next gen. Very important because I started up everything with Snoopy and got it running, and then I found out that there actually was a Snoopy next gen. So good to know. Anyway, running Snoopy, uh, connecting to the USB hub. Here I have uh, one port assigned for a 3G modem, LTE. Uh, it's not here right now because I've connected the network to the Raspberry Pi. One port is assigned for a Uber or Uber Tooth One, sniffing Bluetooth signatures. Then I have a software-defined radio for uh, GPS location data and other sniffings. I have then two alpha cards, one for being a ROOC access point, just like the old Karma function where you can allow people to get access um, to the internet, and the other one for sniffing wireless data. All these data here, are, they are collected and sent to the server, which I have installed. It's also a, uh, I think actually it was a uh, Ubuntu I have running in the cloud, and I have Snoopy on it. But if that server is online for some reason, offline for some reason, then everything is collected here on a, um, a little USB stick I have here on 32 gigabytes. So you can stand there alone and collect data for a very long time. Anyway, uh, accumulating up, sending data, cleaning out the database. So you have a lot of free space always. And then sending it to the server. And here on my PC, I have installed uh, Meltico. It's a wonderful tool which can data mine and I will show you the, the functions here. I have actually collected some data today. So I start by running a, a transformation here where I'm asking for fetching my drones. Right now I only have one drone and uh, I will ask this drone where it is. Uh, fetch drone location. It says it's in Copenhagen. Okay, that's Denmark. And then I'll ask the drone to give me all the clients. That means all the devices it has seen sniffing. And we can see a lot of devices here. Actually, we can't see them all because uh, this is a demo license I'm running on. So um, I can't count how many here are there are here, but there's a limitation. So if you run the transformation again, its clients we will get even more and even more let me just see here of course if I have paid for this I would need to do that this three times oh my finger was in the camera sorry anyway I have a lot of different devices here and it's not necessarily um, phones as indicated by the icon it can also sorry for that it can also be um, it can also be PCs, computers, or well, this Liffy here is actually my, I don't know if you can see it, it's my um, light bulb. It's a bit unclear, this one here, called Liffy. So, I will ask the drone to give me information about all the entities here. And I want to know what access point that they have ask for connecting to so it's running a transformation now and it's showing us the access points if you go into them we can actually see here wonder yulan home run internet intranet different access point names here and so on you can drill down the last drill you can do it is to get uh, the location data from the access point where it goes to the wiggle.net page and retrieve the location data. So 
you can perhaps locate the person who has this phone. And if you collect data from different sources, let's say you're on a conference and you go to another conference and you see the same pattern here for the phone or device and, and the, an access point, you can identify people and you can start um, correlating all the data and get even more information out of it. Very, very interesting tool. So, yes, just some fun for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it.